Hello, I'm going to do what I watched in March. Um, I'm not going to split it up because I didn't watch that many new to me films. So I watched like three. So I'm just going to start. Um, I only watched 13 films last month. Um, but it's um okay so the first movie i watched was the stranger i don't remember why I, I that was i was on netflix um and i liked it so much it was so suspenseful and just like so nerve-wracking but it was so good um then i watched hendenburg which again was really good i'm so glad the dog lived <laughs> like you have no idea how happy that made me um and then the next new to me is Five Feet Apart, and I watched it for Cole Sprouse, and it's not, I mean, it's good, but it's like, it had, and it's just a cystic fibrosis, so it is important to see the movie just to be aware of that disease and to understand what it is and how people live with it and stuff, but overall, if you've seen one romantic drama, you've pretty much seen them all. You know the tropes and you know where things are going to go. But it's still nice and I still want to see. I'm going to buy it when it comes out and watch it a lot because I liked it. I enjoyed it. But it's nothing special in the long run. But, um, yeah. So now on to what I own. I watched Tangled, which is so sweet. I just... Tangled is just such a beautiful film, all in all. Um, then I watched Notorious. I got the Criterion Blu-ray during the uh, Criterion sale, and this film is just amazing. Um, then I watched Moon Rise Kingdom. Then I watched Jumanji. And then Bridges of Madison County, which I've seen so much i didn't cry this time but i think the reason is because i really wasn't paying attention to it because i've seen it so much so like when it came up it didn't affect me um my best my my big fat greek wedding is still one of my favorite films of all time it's so funny and it's so great um next i watched the runaways underrated film and it's so good amazing um and then we watched Party Monster, which isn't a good, isn't really a great movie. It's not greatly acted. It's really, really overdone and weird and crazy. But the plot twist, I mean, I guess if you know what happened, it's not really a plot twist. But I didn't know. I didn't know the situation. <laughs> and so, um, does it even say in the back? No, it doesn't say in the back, like, what happened, which is good, because if you don't know the story and you go into this, you're going to think it's one thing, and then <laughs> completely turned into a completely different movie, and it's, it's crazy, man, but it was, it's, like, that, it's, again, it's not, like, a, a greatly done film, it's just, the situation that happened that you don't really see coming that like blew my mind um next is carnival of souls then very good girls um a beautiful mind which i have upgraded it's coming on blu-ray today so i'm excited that i finally upgraded it like i hadn't seen this in a long long time and then i just watched it and I was like, I have to get it on Blu-ray because it's beautiful and I need to watch it more. And maybe that I have it on Blu-ray, I'll watch it more because it's just really great. Um, and then, and then the last film is Nerve. Last year I watched it every month and I still love it, but I don't want to watch it every month anymore. <laughs> I did it. I really did it. Um, but uh, that is all. Goodbye.